little parsley on top. Now it's time to eat it. <laughs> I like glue on it like I do for my kids. I was like <laughs> you don't need like a, a double take without me blowing at it first. <laughs> I'm so used to being with my one-year-old and being like <laughs> And then I have to do one of those like, mmm. <laughs> I'm Natalie Portman and I am here to cook one of my favorite at-home recipes of a chickpea stew. And talking about a new film that I produced called Eating Animals, a documentary about factory farming in America. I like to cook this at home um, for my family. It's quick, has very few ingredients, and manage doing it between running around after kids. So all you need is two tablespoons of olive oil, two cloves of garlic, finely chopped, one large zucchini diced, one can of whole peeled tomatoes, one can of chickpeas, which I usually use canned because to use the dry ones, you have to soak them overnight, and I always forget to do that ahead of time. But it's always better to use the dry ones. Two teaspoons of salt, and red chili flakes to your taste, and some chopped parsley for garnish. So the pot is heated, and you just pour in your olive oil, and garlic, and some zucchini, salt on. I like salt. I've been vegetarian since I was nine. Then when I was 30, I became um, vegan. I feel much steadier energy as a vegan. I feel like I have less like ups and downs of energy. I feel more constant throughout the day. I definitely eat a lot of avocado, which makes it lucky to be in California because we have lots of great local avocado. And I eat a lot of tempeh bacon. That's definitely a staple. And so then we add these tomatoes, smash them down a little. So I read Eating Animals, the book by Jonathan Safran Foer when it came out. And so I immediately approached him about making a documentary of the book because it really impacted my life a lot and made me become a vegan. And there was just all this information about how this factory farming is, in, is affecting the environment, is affecting human health, and I didn't know about before, and, and so I really thought it would be great to put it in a different format for a different audience through documentary. The movie takes a very different approach because it's really talking about this great American tradition of farming that really had like respect for the act of farming, the, the difficulty, the labor, the beauty of it, and the, the humane treatment of animals focusing on these these farmers that are the salt of the earth, Americans, and what they've lost and how they're being treated and how that culture and tradition is being treated. I was really on from, from the start. And also I narrate this one, so it's a little more personal. And then you add the chickpeas and you can add some of the chili flakes too. I like spicy. More salt, because salt's really good. <laughs> just put in a lot. <laughs> I was just told that I have a very low blood pressure, so I must crave salt, and I was like, that explains it. So now it's up to a boil, and we can just let it simmer and then reduce for 20 to 25 minutes. Well, I think that if you ask most people if they care about environmental destruction, if they care about harm to animals, almost everyone would say, yes, they care. Factory farming is the most destructive thing to the environment that humans do, and it's very harmful to animals. And it's not likely that most people will become vegan tomorrow, but even if you think about how you might be able to change the way you eat once a day or once a week, that makes a huge impact over billions of people. Now it's done, we can serve it over rice. And some of the stew. And then a little parsley on top. Now it's time to eat it. <laughs> it's good.